all right so good day now for this demonstration i'll be showing you how to install window builder in eclipse all right now window builder comes as a plugin in eclipse and it is very useful if the need ever arises for you to create some sort of graphical user interface all right so for example a login form or a registration form all right so window builder is composed of the standard widget toolkit designer as well as the swing designer and it makes it very easy to create java gui applications without spending a lot of time on writing code all right now to let's say for example we want to create this login form all right we'd have to first install window builder in eclipse so what we would have to do first is click on the help tab once we are in the Eclipse IDE. All right, so we want to click on the help tab. All right. Now, once you do that, you are going to select Marketplace. All right, so you select Eclipse Marketplace. All right, so after selecting Eclipse Marketplace, you will just simply search for a window builder all right now once you search for window builder you'll see these two options all right now i will install the first option which is the more stable version all right now to show you how to do this let me just take you to a live demonstration in eclipse All right, so as I said, you will click on the help tab and go down to Eclipse Marketplace. All right. Now, in the search, you'll just type window builder, click on search. all right so the two options that are presented to me i'm going to go with the most stable version which is the 1.9.4 all right at the top all right not the one that says window builder nightly build i'm going with the first option so i'm going to click on install all right so these are all the components that i'll be getting with my window builder installation. I'm going to click on confirm. All right, so that is taking place now. The installation is running. All right, so I'm going to accept the terms of the license agreement. Click on finish. All right, so it's currently at 48% installation. All right. All right, now once the installation is done, it will ask me to, well, it will ask us to restart our, our computer. All right, so I'll have to restart now. All right, so after restarting, all right, I'm going to relaunch Eclipse. All right, so let's just create a new project all right let's call it 
entry login I'm just going to uncheck create module info module info finish I'm just expand all right so here's our J login project I'm going to right click on it All right, now after right clicking, I'm going to go to other. All right, and I'm going to be looking for window builder. All right, so window builder was successfully installed. All right, so there's the swing designer and there's the standard widget toolkit as well. All right. So I'm going to go with the swing designer. I'm going to select application window. Then next. All right, I'm going to give this a name. Let's call it login. All right. Click on finish. All right, now, as you can see, all right, the code was presented here to us. All right, so we are currently on the source code. If we select design, it will open up for us. All right, here we go. We can actually see that the form here was generated. All right, so the GUI application here was generated all right and that is basically it in terms of us installing window builder in eclipse now again window builder is definitely needed to ensure that we can create gui applications without typing too much code all right so in the follow-up video to this one i'm going to show you how to create a simple a simple login form all right so i'll show you how to create this login form all right so remember to watch that particular video as well all right so start off by installing the window builder and then in the video that follows this one we will create this login form together all right all right thank you very much